Hey, what's going on there? Look at this guy. Look at this Lextre. Lextre. All right. Remember that name, Lextre. This is the Lextre Mont Blanc. Okay. It is a. Oh man. It is. Here's the thing. Whenever you touch a Lextre bag, your fingers kind of go like, Oh, what is this? In previous videos, I've said that like Lextre are like the s'mores of bags like something about them are almost cartoonish uh in in the materials that are used and yet you're like you're at the same you're just like oh this is delicious just marshmallows sticking to your beard oh my god snor s'mores are s'mores are bad for me you beard guys know what i'm talking about Mar marshmallow oh my god the reason why i bring it up is because it's like this neoprene that you see here this elastic the the plush like velour sits bath that you have inside of your of the laptop compartment that's a callback to a previous video the sits bath thing just in case someone's like why did that gentleman say sits bath okay so like like lots to talk about in the materials and in lots of pockets and stuff like that but here's what i'm curious about this bag it's like who is this really for okay it's a 28 liter pack it's it's really tall for a daily carry. I think there's people who can get away with this as a daily carry. I think it's also kind of like, it's sort of, it seems like it might be purpose built for like an adventure pack, especially like snowboarding, for example. So like a snowboard backpack, it seems like it could be really good at that. I'm not quite sure what the market is for this, but here's the thing. We're gonna look at every detail of this bag. There's Four or five things I need you to know about this bag before we get into it though. Okay, so the first thing here is just bitchin' materials. Like I said, every time you feel a Lextray bag, like you're just like, what is, what is this? We've got some ballistic nylon. We've got some neoprene, like polyester stretchy something neoprene-y. The buckles all have this matte finish on them. Everything is like no expense spared to get the particular vibe that the founder's going for. Okay, you notice it a ton on these back straps. I don't know what, I don't know what he's doing in these. This is like, I just want a room full of these back straps that I can just jump into and swim in like Scrooge McDuck. It's gel. It's like cushy gel, but then it has this, this thick mesh on the outside for more, for air wicking so you you can stay cool. It is delightful. Little things like little details like this where he, where he sews in a, uh, a thing here just so that you can take your sternum strap and clip it so it's not dangling around. Also, like, look at this weird, weird ass thing. There's this neoprene thing. You pull these two zippers down and then out of this neoprene thing comes a whole other like <laughs> pocket location. This is for, you could totally put a, um, uh, 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 your papers, your business papers, man, right here. Or you could throw an iPad or a tablet or something like that. There's some weird organization in there, which I'm like, what is, what did you design this for? Like, what did you think you, what did you, what were you hoping would be used? in here. The zippers all have an AquaGuard seal on them. They all have the nice little custom uh, Lex Dre logo uh, pull tab. Okay, so the first point is just materiality of this. It's, just, it's delightful. It's a heavy, thick bag, but your stuff is safe. You're, you're doing it on, you're like, yeah, I want it to feel comfortable. I want it to feel plush and lush. The thing feels like that. Point two is that uh, the capacity is like, big for daily carry and small for travel, right? So it's sort of a funky capacity. That's what I'm trying to say. It's kind of funky. There's like, it's like large and in charge. Like you can get a lot of stuff in here. I can use this for minimal travel, um, but I can use smaller, <laughs> smaller bags for minimum travel and fit the same amount of things. Like one great example of this is, is the laptop compartment inside. Lush, thick padding all around the laptop, which goes in right here. But then inside the bag, like there's actually access to the inside of the bag over here, you could, there's, <laughs> the laptop thing is actually huge. It takes, so you have, you have a much narrower capacity inside the bag than you would have otherwise. You're looking at this, you know what you want to use it for. I think it's, too big for daily carry, right? Though I think a lot of you, I think there's people out there who could use this as daily carry. I'm 5'10", 190 pounds, okay? And so it is like a big outdoorsy, 
like kind of hiking pack, right? So for that hiking pack thing, this is great, but it's big enough to be like, maybe we're going multiple days. And if you're doing that, you definitely want to have a lighter pack, right? So it's a weird in between, like it feels like an old school hiking bag where they only didn't have lightweight materials. It feels like an homage to that. Okay, point number three, there's lots of uh, external pockets that can be used in a number of different ways. You have these side things here, which I believe are meant to be, or could be water bottle pockets. And they do like, okay, it's the kind of water bottle pocket that's like not quite as sturdy and, and like high end as you wish it was. But it's got these buttons on there, which, uh, which like would normally be a real pain in the ass to snip and closed, but on this little thing, like they've just designed a little place for you to put your finger so you can kind of like, you know, you can get it in the right spot and actually clip it down, but like buttons, like, We've moved away from them for a reason. But you get that aesthetic. You see this? This is like Candy Crush. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, -ho -ho -ho. like these buttons on here, like, I don't know. It's delightful. It's like, oh, oh welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> good luck getting out without having a good time. It's sort of like mad sciency. The point I'm making anyways is lots of, lots of pockets on the outside of the bag. I'll walk you through every one of them in a second. And then the final point is just the really extremely comfortable shoulder straps like and the back thing there's there's some mesh on the back and some there's definitely some lumbar support oh and i don't know if i think it comes with this there's a hip pack that can come with it uh and that is is removable it's got some pockets on it for skittles that's what these pockets are for these are skittles these ones over here like i've said before possibly milk duds though jujubes or a metro card or something else you could possibly fit in there so this would be great. And you see, it's like, it's like a snowboard bag. The thing is, is it's, it's, it's up against your body. It doesn't flop out that way, right? So it's narrow and tall. So you get this capacity with the height of the bag, but it stays close to your body. So actually doing adventure sports. Look at me. I'm doing an adventure sport. Here I am. This is an adventure sport and I can do it easily because the bag is up against my body, right? This is what this body, this bag, this body is for and this bag is for this body. Okay, so the final point there is just, it's extremely comfortable to wear both the straps and the, and the, uh, the, the like lumbar support and the air breath mesh ability, the hip strap that can be removed. Like it seems like it's made to be used uh, adventure -y like that. Okay, let's walk you through all the pockets on this bag, then I'm gonna show you a few other bags that you might wanna look into uh, in comparison to this, but this thing is fascinating. So first of all, we've got a pocket right here. I've thrown a pouch from Bellroy. I've got a video on all my pouches and the ways that I've used to, to carry, like all the little things I need, like this one's got spare headphones and a handful of audio things that I just, I just sometimes need. You carry things differently than me, but I've got a video in the description below and maybe I'll try to get a, one of those information things coming up right now. If it's not there, please remind me. So this pocket here, this is a small one. This is a small one, okay? These two are quite narrow. Like this is like, you could fit like, like a handful of pens in this one. Uh, headphones, like, a, like wired uh, small headphones, like little in-ear headphones, okay? There's a pocket there. I'm not sure what I could use it for. Same thing with that one, though I could fit my little thing just perfectly. And then on this side, I have another pouch that I travel with. It's called my Always Need You, Never Wanna See You, okay? It's this guy. Again, watch the video, but I've just got a bunch of dongles, a bunch of extra cables, a bunch of like a camera adapter, things that I might need occasionally. And it's like, when I need it, it's like, oh, I know it's always on my bag, in my bag somewhere. And I always like to put it someplace where I, I'm, I don't see it. So I like that pocket there. This pocket is bigger. It goes through the entire, the entirety of this panel right here. You can see it. It's nice. Oh man, one of the things you're gonna love about this bag is the lining it is so rich. It's luscious, it's smooth, and yet durable. You can feel the weave on it slightly, but it's sort of silky. What the hell? It has their logo on the lining. Like they're making their own custom fabric for the lining. Okay, then you've got a pocket back here. Now this is your quick access because inside it has got this lush velour, this velour like, like, I don't know, can you see that? Can you see in there? I've put my glasses case in there. Inside of here, you have two clips that clip off of it. One for your keys and one for, I guess, your condoms. They're basically the same. But it's got this lush, oh, just, you just wanna literally put your perineum in it. Delicious, the same material that they have 
for the laptop. Let's do that. One side, you've got the laptop and you're right into it right here, okay? So we're right into the laptop. I'm fitting my 15 inch MacBook Pro easily, effortlessly, except for when it gets caught on the top there. So you might need a two-hander, but what's great is it's so like, again, just so plush and lovely in there. It's that velour, like, can you see a little bit of that? That velour, like, it looks like a, like a black light painting from the 70s. You know what I mean? Like a black lady, like a naked black lady with like n boobs sticking out of her afro, but it's painted on a, on a, like a velour <laughs> canvas. Like it just feels like, yes, like you're in one of your uncle's basements or something, like just fighting, going through shit. Okay, then there's this pocket on the back where you've got this like tethered zipper thing that comes down. And then this, this, this guy, which like, what the hell, man? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know, but I'm glad it's there. I don't know if you can see, but you see that like fat, that like pattern that you're seeing in this. This is the, the Lextray logo. This lining is so nice. I really dig it. And again, a button on a totally flat, like no dimension at all. And so you're gonna button that down. That's what you're gonna do is you're gonna put something there and then you're gonna button it. <laughs> what? Welcome to my wild kingdom. I think it's fascinating. I think it's fascinating. I bet there's people out there that literally love this bag because it has so much character. On this side of the bag, vertically, you have access to the laptop compartment, okay? They have the same zipper over here, but it doesn't go to the laptop. It goes to the main compartment of the bag, which you can see this right here. That's your laptop case, okay? Hear that? It like Velcros. <laughs> It Velcros like off of the edge, but it's sewn in on the other side, like for some reason. I guess you could use it to, to like store some stuff back there. I mean, actually I could take my book right here and I could just store it <laughs> back behind the laptop. But then my laptop's kind of curving around the book. I don't know. The point being, there's just like a lot of crazy things you could do with this bag. Okay, so let's get into the main compartment. You've got these lovely matte finished uh, they're UTX Flex Stealth buckles. They feel so nice, so much nicer than uh, than typical buckle. I don't like. They have a texture to them, but like a, like a like you just want to finger them. There's also a little hidden pocket on the inside of here, right? So great place to store your drugs or things like that. Now you've got a uh, oh you know string yarn wire rope thing. That's uh I I, I this is like the one thing on here that I'm like. I bet it's probably pretty strong because they considered everything else, but it just doesn't feel that great. It just feels a little thin, flimsy. It feels like, uh, I bet that like a paracord or something like that would be better. But then we open this up and now you've got access to the gaping maw inside of your bag. And what's more, there's actually some organization at the top. Let me see if you can see this. So see this, a zippered thing right here and then two, <laughs> two little flaps with pockets with buttons with buttons on them. <laughs> like, you, like you put something in there and you find it and you button it. I would I would never flap it closed and I would vastly prefer that to be Velcro. Like just push it down and it's settled. Finding the like, <laughs> all right, find it, find it. Where Where is it? Okay, let's get it. Okay, I'm on it, I'm on it now. Now push hard. Oh, I gotta get some leverage there. Okay, we're on, right? Like not my style for daily carry, but at the same time, there's something elegant about it. There's something Mercedes Benz about it. There's something like refined about it. So inside the bag, the only thing I had was a book and my, uh, this pouch, okay? Which I've shown in a few recent videos. Again, another pouch, which you can watch my video on all the pouch stuff. Cause a lot of you are interested in that. So this one just has, this one just to show you really quick, this has my, this is my work pouch. So I just quickly bring this out and I've got my spare hard drive, my Glyph Atom Raid spare hard drive, my favorite spare hard drive, uh, external hard drive for working on the video stuff. I got my MacBook Pro charger and my Bluetooth headphones, which I did a whole death match on Bluetooth headphones. You gotta watch that. You gotta get Bluetooth headphones that do noise canceling. You don't have to. But a lot of people want them. And actually, I wasn't a Bluetooth noise canceling guy. Then I got all these headphones to try and do the, the death match on. And, and it's been good. Like, I've learned a lot. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. So inside the bag, you've just got all of this capacity. Let me show you something. Here's like a, here's a Tom Bin packing cube. The ones that I tend to recommend most 
Um, I like this. This is their large Aether. It's or Ether. It's it's very thin, very lightweight. There's like nothing to it, but it's strong enough that I can kind of throw a bunch of shit in there. And speaking of throwing a bunch of shit in there, look at that. Just fits perfectly right there. I could fit two of those. Bam, with a laptop. Okay, then. All my little pockets out here, so this is all my need you never want to see you. And my stuff, my thing at the top of the bag, which is my glasses and my passport and whatever else. Also passport back in here. Kind of maybe I could throw a book back in here, but or a book on top of this, right? So I've basically got everything I need for travel in this one thing. And when I travel, I actually use just one of these. Right? So then I've got all that room on the top of the bag. So for minimal travel, this thing is killer. If you wanted to go maximal travel and do two of these, you can also do it. You would be, like I would be missing out on, okay, where do I put this stuff? Headphones, laptop charger, spare hard drive. That's what I need with these guys and hopefully a book or something, right? So that's all I need. I can find a way to fit that all in here. Uh, even if I had double this or like a pair of uh, like like this plus a pair of shoes, I can easily fit things. Two of these and a pair of shoes. No bueno. Get rid of the shoes. We could probably fit the rest of the stuff. So all that to say just that like, you know, you could you can use this as a travel bag. And the thing about it is it's going to be for sure one of the most comfortable travel bags I've ever used because of like we were talking about before. It is thin and narrow, but tall. So you can actually carry it close to your back. You're not, it's not pulling you, it's not pulling you backwards. It's staying more vertical. And you've got that hip pack and this thing's pretty great. Okay, so like I said, this is sort of a weird size to compare to other bags. So let me give you a few to look at that you might be thinking about as well. All right, the Boundary Supply Prima system. This thing's awesome because it's a roll top. So you actually can expand the size, okay? I love the manufacturing, the quality and materials on this bag. I love the tech organization. I love the way that it has a camera insert in case you want to be all camera -y. I love uh, I love a lot about this bag. It's it, it's it's as far as Kickstarter -y bags go, this thing is really inspiring to me. People built it who know all about materials, know all about design, and so that really shows on this bag. So the Boundary Supply Prima system. I'll put a link to my review of that in the description below. Okay, the Wandered Perverky or Provoke pack, all right? This one is uh, less exciting to me than the Prima system, but still a lot of people love this bag. It is made for adventure stuff. It has the roll top so you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. A uh, little bit smaller capacity, I'd say. I mean, with the roll top, you can fit probably exactly the same. Um, and you've got more tech organization. I mean, same amount of tech organization, but somehow it feels more efficient in this bag. The pockets feel efficient. Uh, for instance, he's got all of these little pockets. It, this is one big pocket that were, and I, and it's like, almost like I think I, it works a little bit better. Wandered Perverky, I'll put a link to my, uh, my YouTube video that I did on this one where I show you all the things down below. Okay, this is a very similar counterpart or like a, a, a good comparison bag for this. The Mission Workshops Rike Rocky bag, okay? This thing is made really well. Lots of lovely materials. More, uh, like, these are great because this one's, like, really approachable and fun and, like, Candy Crush! And this one's very, like, yeah, what's it to you? Like, both are very intense in that. Like, one's like, oh, and one's like, the fuck did you say? Uh, but lots of pockets, lots of capacity, smaller capacity than this one, I'd say, but because it's got the roll top, you can get a lot in. And similarly, not very, um, not doesn't hang off your back a lot, but has a lot of room. Check out my video on this one. It's one that I did not like the look of at first, but the more I use it, the more I was like, oh, this thing is amazing. Okay, the track Bannock backpack. Bannock, they're from Scotland. They use wax canvas, even just as a binding on this, uh, binding, but, no, as a binding, the wax canvas as a binding to me was just like, it was like legendary uh, insight. Um, lovely material. This one's like a heritage daily carry. If you're like, I want a daily carry, I like to look at this. Look towards this. I mean, if this is a more expensive bag. Uh, it's heritage, it's gonna last forever. It's a little bit precious that way. You know what I mean? Uh, I can see that, I can sense that. However, it's gonna wear in over time. It's gonna look less precious and it's gonna like, it's gonna be there for you like, 
forever. Okay, so that is the Lextray Mont Blanc pack. Hopefully you like this. Listen, if you purchase any of these bags, if you like being on, you know, looking at these, that this is helpful, please use my link in the description if you're able. Uh, I sometimes get an affiliate commission for that at no cost to you. It's like buying me a beer and saying like, hey, thanks for the video. That was pretty cool. Also, I am like utterly excited and passionate about trying to find ways for us to buy less bullshit, but to have things in our life that really inspire us, right? So to have a more considered life that we're working on, like that, like when I come home and my, my house feels, my bag feels, my car feels, my, all the things feel like, like considered, ah, uh, it's like it clears and unclutters my mind, which is, which is important because that's the only mind I have. You got a lot of choices and a lot of bags out there you could possibly get. What you want to find is the bag that like clears your mind, the headphones that clear your mind, like the kind of thing that just make life easier to just like, good, I don't have to worry about that anymore. If you're interested in that journey, please follow along. I, uh, I've been trying to do this full time now and I'm inspired by it. And so hopefully if you like it, come along, find care, take care, serve hard and dig in, follow yourself, be your bliss. Be, oh, I'm gonna barf, bye. Bagworks.co, jacereeves.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, Where I guess want so. us to, hmm. let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.